Online businesses are growing rapidly in this era. People prefer doing more online work and businesses since COVID-19 came into action. Daily thousands of startups are being registered online. Probably you were also wondering that to start your online business. Starting an online business or a startup is a really good idea, but have you ever thought about a payment gateway? Yes, exactly a payment gateway that will help you to send and receive payments. Any business that you do must have a day by day transactions. And for that, any successful business, you should have a working payment gateway like PayPal, Stripe, Skrill, and so on. Since there is a lot of online payment gateway available on the internet, but still, people prefer to use PayPal or Stripe because it is the most popular payment gateway and is being used worldwide. And also, it's pretty easy to set up and run. So, in this video, we'll talk about PayPal because it takes less than 5 minutes to set up and also we don't have to go through a lot of verifications and all that. Sounds good? Wait, 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 wait. But there is a small problem. If you are not one of the country that is allowed to send and receive payment through PayPal, then most probably you would not be able to receive payments from your clients. Countries like Bhutan, Cambodia, Maldives, Nepal, Nigeria, Rwanda, Sri Lanka and others can only send but cannot receive payments. Unfortunately, if you do not have a global payment system, then your business might not get success as expected. Hey, wait. Don't be upset, I'm here to show you the way to overcome this problem. Hey guys, this is Prakash and you are watching Tay Prakash YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to cover all about setting up a successful PayPal account even if you are from one of the countries that are only allowed to send but not to receive. First of all, let's talk about PayPal personal and business accounts. Personal accounts are basically only for those who want to buy or shop online or to send and receive payments from friends, family and others. But we need a PayPal business account in this situation because we are going to receive payments worldwide and also because we are from one of the countries that are only allowed to send, buy or shop like that. Okay, you might be wondering if we are not allowed then how we will create a business account. I'll tell you how. Just bear with me in the video till the end and I'll cover everything that you have to know about. If you are still didn't subscribe to our channel then please subscribe and you will get more updated and related videos in the future. A lot of people create personal PayPal accounts on others name who live in the US by using a fake identity or fake names. Creating a US PayPal account is more easy job cause you can get fake names and details on the internet. Also, you can get a free Google Voice number that can be used to set up an account, but this is very risky. Also, they have already lost a lot of money because people can easily find out by using technology and they can do block your account. Since I can't recommend you this, as per my one year of experience with a PayPal business account, I'm going to share the only genuine and working ideas with you guys. So, my recommendation is to use your real identity but approach with a business account. Now, there are a lot of benefits with a business account. You can have a business account from any country you would like to. And also, there will not be an issue of different country identities or issues like unauthorized account access which is basically occurred by login from different location that then origin. For example, you have a US PayPal account in a US person name. But the account is always active in Bhutan. Now, people will detect this as very soon and they will treat this account as fraud. Also, they will ban that account. Now, let's go for the solution. So what can be the solution for this? How can we get a long term PayPal solution? For that, we always have to think about various things that are needed for the account. And also, we have to care about the PayPal terms and condition of that particular country. And luckily I found a country that suits me the best, it's Singapore. Yes, it is the best choice for me and will be perfect for you too. Now why only Singapore? You can also choose a different country that is nearby you. Always choose a nearby country that allows you to send and receive. As I am from Nepal, I'll choose an Asian country as well as the country that is growing much faster in digital. It means the country that allows you to get a virtual bank account and a business register if needed. But we are not going to register any business aid. We just create a PayPal account and then we will add a bank account with PayPal to get verified. And one more thing, we do not have to add a Singaporean mobile number. We can always use your own home country mobile number. 
Additionally, PayPal allows you to add a US bank account too. If you do not have a Singapore bank account, then you can easily link a US bank account if needed. But in this case, you can use Singapore bank. I'll show you how to get a Singapore bank account for free. Most people prefer to use Payneer bank accounts. But in the last few months, I faced some issues mostly with the Payneer US bank accounts. But other accounts were okay. Since you can always request for a Singapore bank account, but we'll talk about this later. Now let's focus on creating a business PayPal account. At first, visit the link for Singapore PayPal. Since there are different URLs for every country, please keep that in mind. I'll mention the direct link in the description below. Please check and go through the correct link so you can create a business account with that country. First of all, click on sign up button and then select business account. On the next, you have to select some options like payment accept from, from your website, your email or direct link. Whatever you want to select, just select it. And the monthly sales volume. That is an easy job you can select as your wish. I'll select I'm not sure or none of the above and minimum volume for monthly sales. Next, you have to provide an email address that has not been used previously for any PayPal signup or must be close that PayPal account before using the email again. Now you have to fill up some data over here. As you can see on the screen, there is a business contact, business details and business phone number. You have to provide your business contact details. I'll use my own name as well as you can use your own name. In the business detail, you have to provide a business name. It could be anything according to your business. I'll put here as example, take Prakas. This will be my business name and I'll receive payment on the name of business. Now business phone number, as you can see by default, there is Singaporean number. You can change the country. This is the benefit of this business account. Now click on this drop down and you can select any country that you are from. For example, you can choose Pakistan, you can choose any other country. But for now, I'll choose Nepal because I'm from Nepal. Now at the business address, you must fill up with the valid address of Singapore. You might be thinking that you should have your business registered in Singapore. But there is no need to register your business in Singapore. But you have to provide a business address at least. You can easily find one of the business address or a street address of Singapore on Google. Just Google it. As you can see in this example, I'm going to search for a business address or a Singapore street address. Now. I'll choose one of the address from this website and I'll put this into the business address. Let's copy one of this address. Now you go to the PayPal and put this address into the business address field. Also you can see there is a zip code or postal code. Now I have to provide my postal code. Okay, so we are ready to go. You can tick this checkbox if you want to receive news and offers from PayPal. But you have to tick this one for confirmation. Next, we have to describe our business. What is our business type? For now, I'll select sole proprietorship or individual because our business hasn't registered in Singapore. So I'll select an individual. But you can choose your own if you would like to go with another option. Also, you have to provide additional details about your business. What is your business doing? For example, you can see there a lot of subcategories are available in the list. You can select any one of them, but try to use a very simple one. Here I will recommend you to use for digital services. Try to go with the digital service only. That will be best for you. Or if you have another type of services, you can choose one of them. In my case, I'll be using computer programming, data processing and related services. This one is perfect. Now, if you have any website, 
then you can also mention it here but if you don't have any just leave it on this page you will have to fill up some personal details like date of birth nationality identity document and also home address don't worry this is okay provide your real details so you don't have to face any issues in the future For home address, you can always tick same as business address because you have to fill up another Singapore address because you cannot use your home country address here. On this page, people will ask you some questions like what do you sell first? For example, good, services, others, or not selling it. I'll select services and also you are not selling it. Both options. Now click on next. On the next page, you have to select the payment option. For example, how do you like to get paid? I'll select for create a link the basic option okay now just ignore this one and click on a start setup well we have created a successfully PayPal business account but still we have to make some changes over here for example we have to confirm our email address as you can see here now also we have to change our primary currency which is currently Singaporean dollar go to the money page and then we have to swap our currency like US dollar is also available here so I have to make this as a primary currency but also if you don't want to change your primary currency then leave it as it is but in my case I have to change it to US dollar because I'll be getting paid mostly in USD so I have to change the currency to prevent from extra charges of currency conversion now once you have done making currency primary to the USD you can also close currency of Singapore dollar for example I don't need the Singapore dollar at my PayPal so I'll just close this currency okay done So we have done successfully creating a business PayPal account from Singapore. Now in the next video, we'll link a Singapore bank account with a PayPal. So we'll never face any restriction or any limitation on our PayPal account. If you didn't subscribe to our channel, please subscribe and stay tuned. Our next video will be available very soon. If you think you get help from this video, then please hit that like button. And also if you like to ask anything related to this PayPal account, then please comment below. I'll try my best to satisfy your concern as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video till the end. You can always share this video with your friends if you also want to help them. So I'll see you in the next video. Till then stay safe and take care.